morning YouTubers uh, welcome to Weas Allotments today I'm gonna show you a few clips of um, me new planters and uh, I'll show you me planting one out for the mud of my gene. you don't see them all but we'll go through the the bulbs what we've got and uh, I can tell you we've got a we've got a few I managed to bring some more um, planters up from home so we've got more planters in um, this um, coal frame outside so we've got planters inside the the front greenhouse inside the middle greenhouse and inside the coal frame we put them in there just to give them a start really once they start coming through and they, they kick off we'll bring, take them outside and uh, it'll be absolutely glorious around about February April um, well, that's what I'm hoping anyhow so they'll be the first colour of the year so uh, yeah, let's go and take a look at what we've um, what we've been planting. Well, guys, we're in the middle uh, greenhouse here, and what we're looking at a load of planters. Uh, in these two smaller pots here, the narcissus. Then we've got dwarf irises in these two here. And then we've got tulips in these two. Two different varieties. We've got a uh, double early peach blossom in this one. In that one there we've got a Florentina Orange Emperor in that one. Then in these two here we've got um, so, some hyacinths. So that's the planters in this greenhouse so far. So um, we're in the front greenhouse now. What we're looking at here is irises and uh, rhinoculus. Um, these in the middle is the rhinoculus of these two plots and uh, pots. Then there's a uh, her crocuses what go all the way around the perimeter in both of these. In this one here we've got uh, more tulips, we've got spring flower bulbs and uh, we've got uh, gardener's favourite tulips, uh, purple dream and we've got double earlies in this one, we've got a row of each. In this one here we've got blue max and um, a long stem variety of um, tulips. Um, unfortunately it's not got a name on it, it's just long stem. Again we've got some more of these uh, Florentina Orange Emperor and we've got some Red Riding Hood in this one. The next one we've got some Dwarf Mix um, bulbs in there and we've also got um, some Darwin Hybrid Tulips in here. In the next one we've got a Trumpet Mix just I think there's about 16 uh, bulbs in there and in that one there um, again we've got a, tr a few, few trumpet mix and uh, we've got some spring bulbs um, red riding hood tulips so that's what we've got so far now let's show you the rest of them well there we go there's another five planters so we've got about 20 odd planters here with all bulbs and what have you in, all different types. We've got hanging baskets. Is uh, I just planted another all, um, one there, and I forget what the allium variety is, but uh, we'll, we'll, we'll come to that hey again. Guys. Now I just put these lex here into this um, hanging basket here. <laughs> I put all 25 in. Crazy. But they only grow to about um, 14 inches high. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be absolutely a wash with flowers this uh, this particular planter. Um, sorry about the wind, guys. It's absolutely blowing an owl at it. There's nothing in this one yet, but um, let's have a look. This anemonus. Uh, blender mix uh, that's basically what that is and they grow between two and five centimeters so they're not going to get massive then and then we're down I'm winging it in chat will show you the flowers but in this one here I think they call fritillia but they're the flowers Again, they grow about six inches high, seven inches, and they're in this um, hanging basket here in front of my shed. So we've only got one more to plant. I'm going to change this out because it's only a little diddy thing. 
but we stick something in it and stick it um, somewhere else because we've got bigger plants and other planters in there at the top. I don't know if you can see them in there. So we've got more planters in there. I only paid uh, 25 pence each for them. Um, my missus went and bought, I think she bought about 20 of them <laughs> to go around the, uh, the garden. So, you know, but uh, I bought myself a few as well. So we've got a few. So I'm going to change that one out for a big one. And that small planter there can go down the where the, the the other greenhouse is. There's a bracket there for it. So, yep, we've got a few more of them. Well, guys, we've got some more tulips here to plant. And we've got these uh, Fosterina Orange Emperor, which grow to 16 inches long. There's uh, 10 there. And we've also got 10 of these... Um, Double early peach blossoms, they grow to between uh, 10 and 11 inches long. And uh, if I can show you the picture, that's a picture of them ones. And the uh, Fosterina Orange Emperor um, are them ones. So it's dead simple. We don't have to go crazy, guys. We don't have to go massively deep. Uh, you know, about four inches down just make sure they're all facing up it's no rocket science this soil this compost is lovely and fine so you know you just push them right in if it was a if it was a, a an hard soil I'd be very careful I mean look at that there the rod is just starting to shoot now so you know a couple of inches deep give them a covering over same with these ones, a few inches deep, and uh, yeah, we're going to have a mass of colours and flowers this year on the allotments. A lot of these baskets will be all the way around the perimeter of the um, the allotment, and uh, when I've got more space next year, we'll be able to. Split them and um, add them to different beds. So there we go. They're all done now. So I'm just going to put the well, obviously they're the labels there. I'll just leave these on them so we know what they are. When as soon as they start to come through, we'll remove these labels. Okay. <laughs> In this um, plant here, we've got a uh, lechia and uh, mixed. Uh, variety um, normally these things grow to about 14 inches high um, I might have gone overboard with these guys in fact I know I've gone overboard because I've put all, all the lot in this in this uh, hanging basket uh, when they start coming up we might thin them out but uh, it's going to be a lush of colour but that's the Lexia so let's have a look what we planted in this one here Okay, we've got some mixed colours, um, some alliums here. It says, looking at it, the, the label, it says absolutely nothing about what this plant is except for an allium. Now, there's all different types of alliums, but uh, yeah, these things, again, they grow to... Just having a look there. They grow to about uh, four or five inches or something daft like that, maybe a little bit bigger. And just on cue, there's the sirens for the hospital. So that's uh, another hanging basket that I've done. Uh, moving on to this hanging basket on the opposite side of the, the shed, we've got um, 25 and I can never pronounce this, Animonus <laughs> blender mix. Um, these grow to flower night two to five centimetres. That's what it says on the pack, guys, so they don't grow very tall. And then the last one in this hanging basket here, this is uh, Vertilia. Um, now these grow to about eight inches high. So, 
these are all the hanging baskets around the shed planted out so they should look really cool oh we've got a few, we've got another one down here these are um, crocuses and um, we're going to be planting some more of these pots we've got a few more of these pots to plant yet can we still got more um more flowers more um, uh, tubers and what have you to plant so yeah there we go that's 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 what we've been doing the last uh, couple of days planting all these so uh, let's get back into front greenhouse what I'll show you a few bargains that I've been getting so there you go guys a lot of planters there there's a lot of um, hanging baskets that have all been planted out as well um, I didn't do any clips of me planting them but you can imagine um, got carried away with the bulbs because I've got so many so I had to put them somewhere so we did cram them in what we get we don't know it's a surprise and I uh, can't wait to see what the surprise will be eventually um, the other thing what I want to tell you about is uh, a couple of bargains that I've been getting and there's a couple of closing down places that are closing down so I thought hell let's tell you all where I'm getting all these bargains from now I posted it up um, on social media in a lot of different places just to let everybody know what's been going on but before we get to that I want to show you something I bought on the, the car boot on Sunday so we'll take a look at these here guys well guys I've uh, been on the car boot this morning and I couldn't resist buying these paid a pound a piece for them now they're not your normal um, fork and spade the little miniature forks and spades look at the size of that it's perfect Perfect for my two grand, well, my brother, for my grandchildren. Anyhow, I have three at the moment and another one on the way. Um, but yeah, Ethan and Caitlin, uh, I love them to bits, and we'll surely, surely find something for them to dig up and get stuck into. So yeah, pound a piece to pay for them. I could have got, I uh, would have been a bit earlier. I could have got the rake, the rake and the hoe as well, matching. But um, the guy had sold them. He had he had them on the store, but he was saving them for someone to come back. Unfortunately, well, I would have bought them as well. Oh, in fact, I would have bought all six of them. I bought what what was left, to be quite honest with you, and they look pretty cool as well. Really exciting, <laughs> lovely little find, and I'm and they've got um, ash handles as well. They're not cheap. Well, I would imagine they're not cheap, but yeah. Amazing what you can find on a car boot sale. Like I say, the grandchildren will be absolutely chuffed. Awesome, aren't they? Little shovel and, uh, a little shovel and fork there for my grandson. Or my granddaughter, whoever I bring down. It's a pity I couldn't get the rest of them. The, the, the rake and the hole, but like I say, someone else already beat me to it. But a pound a piece. And they've got ash handles as well. <laughs> Brilliant. So, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get the grandkids there. Give me an hand. I've got another one on the way. Um, any day now. I'm going to be a granddad again. Fourth time. Uh, boy, this time we, f we we found out. So we I've got two grandsons and two granddaughters. Eh? Beat that one. And that's me lad. That, my oldest lad. His birthday was the same birthday as me. December the 5th. Um... We thought we was going to get another one December the 5th. Now what we're open, what we're, what we're dreading, or say that we're not dreading because we get them over and done with, is another birthday on Boxing Day. Now there's every chance that might just happen. Now Ethan, my, my oldest grandson, uh, grand, grandson, his birthday, Boxing Day, and she goes in labour around about that day, <laughs> uh, just before, so you never know, she might just go over yet. Yeah. So that's going to be fun but um yeah the great little uh, prize there uh, on the car boot i'm um, coming back from the car boot this is where it gets interesting um i popped into uh b and q and i'm not um advertising out like that and what i'm saying is the i went, I went into the store and there was clearance signs everywhere this is the um b and q in swinton in Salford basically and uh, everything 
to go in for a song. Um, I'll show you the, what I've bought in a bit, but um, the things what I mean, I walked away with a, a cracking um, bench for my greenhouse. Should have been about 60 quid. I got it for, uh, I think it was £10. Um, but what else did I buy from that store? Um, you get these um, potato bags. You get three for nine, well, nearly nine quid. And uh, there they were, a pound for the, for the three of them. So I bought four back. well, I bought four packs. Would have cost me 40 quid. That was coming up to 40 quid. I think about 36 quid would have cost me four pound. And I bought loads of bits and bobs as well, so uh, I'll show you them in a bit. At the same time, I wanted to get this little wheelbarrow, um, little orange wheelbarrow, they're about, about 50, 40, 50 quid um, in B&Q. And, &Q. and um, I couldn't get it in my car, but fortunately for me, um, Pauline and Mike, was uh, I'd just been telling them just that there was, a, there was this... Um, clearance everything's going the place was closing down i told them about it. well they were there they were shot straight up to see what they could get and uh pauline um had bought three greenhouses with all the glass 30 quid or so quid, quid each she bought one of these um she bought the better wheelbarrow actually for the tenner it's one of them with the ball football on the the front of it and um, they're about 60 quid she got that for a tenner she bought two of these um, tables that I'm going to show you in a minute for I think about £10 each and she bought three of these bloody big water butts what, uh, was, uh, I think it was £80 each to buy new these are new by the way she paid £6 a piece for them and she was throwing all the stuff into the wheelbarrow at the end <laughs> well lucky for me she actually picked up my, that yep, the, the orange wheelbarrow and put it on a pat on a on the, the um, pallet which was going to be delivered probably be at the end of the week it'll get delivered so she's going to drop it off here when it turns up so uh, yeah it was a good result I, I, know I paid tenner for my wheelbarrow as well um, so like I say I'm going to show you the I'll show you the table what we got and I'll show you the the potato bags and what have you and then I'll come straight back here so that was another bargain I got. I paid a tenner for this table. Um, this was uh, from the the, the B&Q what's closing down in Swinton. Now that one closes down on the, the 27th of um, this month. And uh, yeah, look at the quality of that table there. I paid a tenner for it. I think it was about 52 quid. There you go, 52 quid. That, it was 52. Uh, down to a tenner. So, you know, what a bargain. So there you go, what a bargain, guys. Well, it gets even better. While I was inside the store, I heard this um, tiller saying, just think about them poor so-and-sos there in, um, in Stretford. Um, that's Tra Old Trafford. Uh, just, it, there's another B&Q down there, and that was closing too. Now, the one in Swinton closes on the 27th of this month, so you've got to got a week or so to get up there and get the bargains now when it gets closer to the end what they do they start half in the price now the one in Swinton okay we get it's getting some fantastic offers some really good bargains but they ain't got them at half price there's a lot of stuff still 25% but the one in Old Trafford uh, at Stretford near the uh, can, it's near the um, cricket ground now that one closes on the 24th and everything is half price and less and more I should say now I went into it and blow me the wood is all half price or less and I was after some uh, 100 B um, 19 um, pieces of wood to do the shed strips for the shed now I've got some down there but when I saw them then it was on off off oh, I've got to get them so I bought two packs and I also bought um, two like for staging like the flooring you know with the like ripples in them so you don't slip oh, I bought two of them the reason why I bought two of them is for the door I'm going to chop them up into to make braces for the door to make the door stronger I think I paid about 14 quid for the lot absolute bargain it's normally 18 quid for each one of these packs so so anyhow, I was I was I was walking around the store, blow me, 
straight in front of me, eat eaters. I think they're 25 quid a piece these eaters, six pound. So bought myself an eater for the greenhouse. I'm thinking of going back tomorrow to buy myself another one. If they're still there, we don't know. But this one in the box, brand new, wrapped up everything, six quid. And then I went to town on the, the decorating stuff. I needed some materials for decorating. I bought a load of paste, pound a pack, should be four or five quid. Bought a load of paint, um, different um, white, uh, white emulsion. Um, I bought gloss paints, I bought brushes, I bought everything. And it come to peanuts. I mean, absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to show you the wood and I'm going to show you this little little eater that I bought and then um, I come back here so I'll ch check these out here guys I don't know if you can see these here guys but um, like this is all the the trim for the the roof and the down the sides to cap all the um, the gaps I bought this yesterday in um, the Stretford branch of B&Q uh, just off Chester Road now that's another place that's closing down and uh, all this lot was half price or less these um, packs of wood here would normally cost you about 18 quid I paid six pound a piece these here a pound a piece I only needed to I didn't need to get greedy um, but yeah what a bargain so and that that branch closes on the 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 24th of this month so if you're in the area and you get down there go and pay my visit this is what we acquired from um the b and q the other day um this was in i bought this in the um the stretford um branch um off trafford road six quid yeah, six quid. And apparently the guy said he's got they got some more of these in to, to, today. They're bringing them out the, and bringing them down from the stock, and uh, going to be selling a few more of these off. So I'm, I'm going to get down there before they all go because, like I say, there's a say well the, the closing down sale there. Now let's show you something else. What I bought in the Swinton um, branch of B and Q, which is closing down. So. First thing that comes across are these £8.97 they are, a pack of three um, vegetable planters. Ideally for growing vegetables apparently. Oh, you're lardy dardy. Anyhow, uh, I looked at them, pound so far. Yeah, we're going to have some of them. And I looked, there was four packs. So, what's that? Four quid. So the reduced from 30, 35 pound 88 down to four quid. We're having that. So, as you can see, we got a bargain, and you too can have a bargain if you use your loaf and you get down to it, get down to the store. And that's the one in Stretford. Is it Stretford? It's right next to um, the Manchester Manchester United. Um, there's a B and Q there. You. I'm not too sure the road. I think it's called Stonebank Road. You've got it where this um, this B and Q's on, and they close on the 24th. So you've got about a week to get there, guys, and get all the deals. Now it's a lot in the store, but it's going fast. So yeah, there we go. We got a couple of cracking deals. We even got some bulbs as well. I didn't show you the bulbs, but yeah, we still got to get got more need more planters, or we need to get them in the. The planters that I've already got here. So there we go. Um, like I say, wanted to show you my flowers, what I've been getting rid of, all these bulbs. We've got too many packs. We've been finding the packs everywhere. Uh, found a load in the boot of my car. Goes home after planting them. In the the greenhouse at home looking for more planters and stumbles across another bag. So we give 20 bags, 20 packs away to all my neighbours. I thought I'd give them all away. And I kept ten, brought some back down here. We've planted all them. That's what you just seen um, in the the coal frame outside and what have you. So yeah, it's been a been a bit emotional this week. Ups and downs. Uh, computer blew up again. We've actually finally fixed the goddamn thing. New motherboard. 
Um, that's four motherboards are blown up, by the way. I do over I overclock them, and they they don't like it. <laughs> but anyhow, we're up and running again. So I can watch all your all your all your videos now. I've got a lot to catch up, guys. And you probably not heard me. You not seen me popping onto your channels. The reason why I've not been popping onto your channels is because my computers have been down. I've been just about managing to upload a video and um, from time to time but now we're back so uh expect expect more videos and uh yeah we're the next the next thing we're going to be doing on the next next episode i think is clearing this uh compost bin out here and getting rid of it and then we can start doing the base and uh we're not far away from starting to build the shed like i say we've got all the materials now so a big thanks for everyone who subscribes to the channel and who watches and um I'll see you all on the next one. Bye-bye for now.